Okay, I'm back again with another build here. This is the uh, AMP 1961 Chevy Impala SS. Uh, it's a really nice looking kit. Uh, I had a lot of <laughs> had a lot of issues with it, especially with the uh, bare metal foil. Uh, I got about halfway through and it just quit sticking to the model. It would not stick at all. So it looks kind of rough and I had to kind of finish out what I could what, with what would stick and then finish it with the um, uh, Molotov chrome pen. So I did the best I could and looks okay. That paint um, is to me is TS44 Brilliant Blue. And then uh, I cleared it with the uh, Tamiya TS-13 clear. And then uh, I uh, wet sanded it a little bit and then hit it with some Noah's 2. And uh, I like the color. It kind of matches the box. Turned out pretty good. The, uh, oops, I'm going to hit that. interior came out pretty good. I like the color of that interior. Um, I painted the interior with uh, Anita's paint here. Let me get it in focus here for you. It's just a white and blue. That was all brushed on. And uh, I like the color, how the body color and the interior color, they really went together well. All right, let's, let me get the hood off here. Okay. <clears throat> like always, I did a little little bit of detailing in here. I wired the distributor. That's that nice 409 engine in there. Really like that. I know all you guys and gals do. It is a pretty nice build, except for the issues. Now, the uh, wheels and tires that are on this are out of the... Ravel kit of a 1956 Ford pickup, the Foos edition. So I stole those out of that kit, and I think they, uh, I think they go pretty good on this car here. Got the right stance. Looks pretty good. Now all the decals on this, now I couldn't use any of them. They, uh, they all after I pulled them out of the water, they just disintegrated. So I had no decals whatsoever to use. So, I hit the back of the seats with my Molotov pen in between the back seats there. And then uh, hit this back here with my Molotov pen best I could. I'm getting too old and too shaky to do any good detail work. But uh, all in all, it came out okay, I guess. Wish I could have got that Chevy emblem up front. Or that decal to go in the middle there. Came out okay. I, I really like the color. Uh, the color looks really good. I think until uh, the company that's making this bare metal foil, until they get their issues figured out, uh, I probably won't. I'm going to stay away from the cars that have a lot of it on it right now. And, uh, I just did a video. Uh, on a uh, MPC kit, uh, a 34 modified slammer, and uh, basically because there was no bare metal foil, no glass, no uh, headlights, nothing, so it was a pretty simple kit. So I think I'm gonna stay with the simple stuff for a while. But it's a nice looking car. I, everybody likes the bubble tops. Other than that, I think that's about it. I I really like the way the, the red on the calipers, brake calipers stick out. Kind of good contrast off that blue. I had a heck of a time with that white in between those chrome strips right there. Oh, that was a that was a bear. It didn't didn't seem to want to take the white for some reason. I, I'd sprayed it and then the, the white kept kind of it wanted to pull away from the plastic in certain areas I, and I, I sanded and cleaned 
uh, you know, prepped the body really good, so I don't know what it was, but uh, it just, see like to the left of the SS emblem there, you can see where it, it just, I could not get that white to cover. I don't know what it was, but it is what it is. That's about all, all on this one, fellas. Till next time.